Hello friends, welcome once again to our channel. In this video, I will explain the connections and installation of fully automatic multi-purpose water level controller for digital starter and for analog starter. This controller can be used for both the starters. Briefly, I will explain digital starter panel. So this is the uh, digital starter. Uh, this is from LNT company, digital single phase controller. Model is MRGI. This starter has digital display and this is the operator's manual for this. These are the features and it has seven segment display, seven types of adjustment can be made in this, in which overload, under uh, voltage, over voltage, then stop timer and uh, the dry run protection is also there. And uh, all these settings have been recommended in this uh, operator's manual. So you can set according to the requirement and as per the safety of your motor. So this is a plastic casing, it's a shock proof and all the adjustments can be made from here. It has a display of uh, current and voltage displays. That is also in three digit um, digital. So this is the starter from LNT company. The starter has one green button that's a start button when press it will switch on the pump motor this lamp will work as pump motor for demonstration purpose and red button is stop button it will stop the motor these are the function of the starter now coming to the water level controller for this panel this controller is m999 model and this is the corrugated packing box of this controller and inside of this box few nylon ties which will help fixing the tank sensors in tanks this is a installation guide to install tank sensor in water tanks and adjust these sensors for switch on and off as per the actual requirement at site. One operator's manual. I'll explain the features and functions of this operator's manual later in the video. One drill template available in the packing box is one contactor fixing channel. This one box having accessories in it this one contactor 220 volt 18 ampere contactor for switch on button connections and one pair of red wires will be used to connect the stop button connections with the controller there is another box in the main box and it has float sensor switch. This is a concealed switch will not pass any current into water for sensing levels. This box will float along with the levels of water in the tank and we can set the switch on and off level by adjusting this counterweight and the total length of the wire inside of the tank. So this is a maintenance free sensor made of very hard plastic and it has got 1.5 to 2 meters wire along with this. And the controller also packed in separate packing box, few wall plugs and screws for mounting it on the wall. This is the controller. Shock proof cabinet is made of ABS material and 
the panel of this controller on off switch one push two on button for instant motor switch on two led light indicators and there are four connectors at the bottom of this cabinet first two wire connector is for giving 220 volt supply to the contactor and second three wire connector is for sensor switch wire connections color of wires can be connected according to the colors pasted above this connector the third connector is for no normally open switch or stop button in the starter panel in case if you want to use the normal starter analog starter then this connector will be used for stop button connections but in this case since we are using the digital starter so stop button connection will be taken from this connector now connect the 220 volt supply in normal 5 ampere socket two wire connections to the supply for this contactor from the first connector and second three wire connector will be for sensor switch wire connections and third connector will be two wires connection with the stop button connections now there are two pairs of wires which are connected with this contactor each pair will be connected with this start button this start button has two and no switch, no switch these two pairs will be connected with both the switches and these two wires will also be connected along with the other wires with this stop button these are the stop and start button connections all the wires coming from the contactor one pair of green wires will be connected along with the other wires of this NO switch and the other NO switch wires will be connected along with the other wires coming from the contactor and these red wires for stop button connections these will also be connected along with the other wires which are already connected with this switch no wire is to be removed from the existing connections of these switches now i turn on the controller the screen light comes on it shows that the controller is ready to work automatically according to the variation in levels of water in the tank when water level in the overhead tank goes down and reaching a point where we set the sensor for switch on it will switch on the starter for three seconds the rest of the time the starter will work independently and when water is fully filled up it will switch off the starter and it has another option for instant motor switch on this will be used if the water level in the overhead tank is around 50 percent or less in that case before the sensor reaches its switch on level you can make the motor run instantly by pressing this button but the switch off function will remain automatic when water is fully filled up now the main highlight and main feature of this starter is that it will not interfere into the safety features of this starter such as overload protection under or over voltage or dry run protection or switch off timer etc i'll show you practically also now if i turn on the starter since there is no motor connection given on the so no motor load so in this case this starter will treat the output supply as dry run because there is no motor now i turn on the starter and as per the prefix time it will turn off the outgoing supply to the motor if there is no water it will go off automatically after that time now it has gone off because there is no load on the motor the motor is being treated as dry run so in order to protect it will switch off the supply to the motor and same case with the controller as well if I switch on the starter motor through this automatic system. Now system is 
giving supply to the starter panel but in this case if there is a dry run or other features involved it will function automatically now dry run is there there is cutting of the supply even if the controller is giving command to the starter so all the features with regard to protection of the motor are fully intact even after installation of this controller because the design is such so this is the appropriate model to control digital starter panel for automatic purposes the unique design of this water level controller is that that there is no change over switch between starter and the controller in order to operate the starter panel independently now i have shown you the automatic function and if you wish to use the starter panel manually turn off the controller and start using the starter manually without any change over switch start and then this is the manual function turn on the controller and in this case the panel will start working through the water level controller so this is a very unique design where no switch has been provided for changing over the function from automatic to manual this is operator's manual also been given and these are the connections how to connect it's very simple all wires are to be connected directly along with the other wires no wire is to be removed and the simple connection with the overhead tank sensor this is the actual snapshot how to connect the sensor and the start and stop button connections so few conditions technical specification precautions now i shall show you the connections and installation of this controller with the analog starter which is not digital it's a simple starter so this is the normal starter and now i will explain the connections of this water level controller with this normal starter briefly i will explain the functions of this starter this starter has one push to on button connected with the voltmeter when pressed it will show you the voltage and uh, second one is the ampere meter which will show the current being consumed by the motor green button is a start button and red button is a stop button and there is one mcb switch also provided in the supply to this starter all the connections as i have already explained will remain the same will give supply to this contactor only for 3 seconds and sensor connection will also remain the same and now in normal starter stop button connection will be connected with this connector in digital connections stop button connections this connector was used and in this case instead of this normal starter stop button connection will be taken from here these are two wires green one and black one both will be connected with each of this no switches of start button you no wires are to be removed from the existing connection of this start button and these two pairs will be connected along with other wires and these two red wires will be connected in series of this stop button these are the switch on button connection two pairs will be connected with each no switch these are two no switches and you don't have to remove any wire from the existing connections with these two switches and one pair will be connected along with the other wires and the second pair from the contactor will be connected with the other side of the switch along with the other wire and these two wires coming from the controller stop button connection we have to remove one of these two wires any one of them we remove this left side wire and remove it from here and in place of that one wire coming through the controller will be connected with this point
and the wire which was removed from this point will be connected with the other wire coming from the controller that is all and there is a joint cap also available in the packing box the supply and we can punch this head so that it can remain like this so these are the connections for start and stop button now after completing the connections now i turn on the green light comes on it shows that system is ready to work automatically according to the variation in levels of water in the overhead tank when water level is going down and reaching a point where we set the sensor switch for switch on it will switch on the starter only for 3 seconds and when water is fully filled up in the overhead tank it will switch off the starter rest of function of this instant motor switch on will remain the same these are the complete automatic functions and if you want to use the starter manually turn off the controller and there will be a hanging switch which will be available along with these wires in the packing box i have been using automatic function so i press this button in auto mode and now i want to use the manual starter in that case i turn off the auto function and switch it in manual mode in this case the starter will start functioning manually as usual this demonstration was for submersible bore well pump motor to control one overhead tank only this complete connection diagram will be available inside of this operator's manual wherein i had shown the connections of water level controller with the digital starter in this operator's manual there will be another leaf available where we have shown the connection diagram for the normal starter connections so this operator's manual will be available in the packing box in case if you wish to change the normal starter to a digital starter both the options and diagrams are given in this operator's manual and you can always change the option from normal to digital starter in that case you don't have to buy any controller separately for that purpose it will work for both the starters and there are conditions technical specifications and some precautions it's a 220 volt system and it must be installed by a trained electrician only so this was the set to control only one tank the second option where this controller can be used for controlling two tank sensors one reservoir tank and second one overhead tank this is the operator's manual this set will be separately available and these are the connection diagrams this is the reservoir tank and this is the overhead tank it's how it has to be connected with each other and rest of the connections with the start and stop button will remain the same for digital and the leaf will also be available along with this for normal starter and terms and conditions technical specification for this model and precautions are also available in this operator's manual and the third option this controller can also be used with the bore well pump motor to control more than one overhead tank this is the operator's manual for this model this is how we have to connect these two tank sensors with each other and there is only one condition in this case that we have to install ball float valves at the end of water supply pipe any of the levels in tank 
goes down or both the levels go down it will turn on the starter but turn off the starter only when both the tanks are fully filled up and rest of the connection will remain the same in this case also and conditions technical specifications for this model and precautions as usual mentioned in this operator's manual this was uh, for two tank sensor and in case you are required to use more than two tanks you can install another sensor in that case purchase the sensor separately link of which has already been provided in the description box of this video so you can buy sensor separately in case you want to increase number of tanks up to four tanks each tank will have one sensor so accordingly you can buy the sensors and connect them according to the diagram available in this packing box so guys this is my demonstration of fully automatic multi-purpose water level controller for digital and analog starter panels for submersible pump motors if you like the gadget and if you wish to buy any of these three sets all the three links have been provided in the box below and if you wish to buy top tank sensors separately purchase online link of this sensor switch is also available along with these three purchase online links so guys if you like the video please click the like button and for more information you can log on to our website link of which is already given in the description box of this video for any clarification email id and a telephone number is also provided in the box below so subscribe to the channel and stay in touch for my next video thanks for watching